Fiddlers. Rock Reynolds here with session four of ten of the Rock Reynolds Fiddle Workshop. Session four is zero point and balance. You can download all the documents off the location in the text below and you can follow along with the workshop. In session one, I told you fiddlers that you needed to be calm. In session two, I told you fiddlers why you need to be calm. And here in session four, I'm going to tell you how to be calm. One of the things a musician for which a musician should strive is consistency. You want to do the same thing every time. So things always feel the same and you can always go back to a reference point. You don't want to play the fiddle like this one time, and like this another time, and like this another time. You want to do the same thing every time. This combines with the, a, a concept I call zero point, a point of balance. To me, this is the easiest thing to measure. Zero is the easiest thing to measure, and here it is. A zero point, from here, then we will just add the muscles that we need to play the fiddle. I'm going to page two. Fiddlers, your entire body is connected. I can't explain it. I mentioned earlier, even a tight jaw will adversely affect your music. When I used to do position practice, I pretty much suck at that still. But first position, that's the normal position, and then you can move up to third position. Well, every time I would move up to third position, my bowling arm would screw up. But there's no difference in the bowling. The only difference is in the left hand. So why did my right arm keep screwing up when it was the left hand that was changing? It's hard to keep track of this stuff, so the fiddle's gonna be challenging and keeping these things separate is a big challenge. So how to do nothing, start from zero. Fiddlers, here is how to do nothing. Just stand straight. I'm going to tip the camera down a little, show you, um, so you can see my feet. The way I do the, the way I uh, monitor the balance, I feel four contact points, both toes, both um, soles, and both heels. They should feel equal. This should equal that, should equal that, should equal that. A nice four-point balance. So that's, I feel, that, uh, if I can feel all of both of my feet, I know that I'm pretty well balanced. I'm going to tip the camera back up now. So keep these points, bottom of page two, keep those points as even as possible. Standing here, balance, standing here at zero point is easier than playing the fiddle balance point. Once we start moving our arms around, it's harder to stay still. Because once you start moving your bowling arm around, your center of gravity changes just a little, but it's enough to throw your balance off. So be careful of that. Bounce and rhythm. I play a lot flat-footed. I put a little bounce sometimes. I'm going to recommend that you fiddlers play totally flat-footed until you learn how to play. Don't be uh, bouncing. I put a little bounce in for rhythm sometimes, but it's very little, very little. You can't bounce too much. I need a solid instrument here. You bounce too much, that's not a, that's not a solid platform. So this, this workshop is going to recommend maybe putting a little bounce in your fiddle playing eventually, but for the, for the purposes of this workshop, just flat-footed, no bounce, no rhythm. For the balance exercise preparation, we're going to use a closed stance. I'm going on to page four. I mentioned this earlier that the closed stance. You can't see my you can't see my feet now, but you can just you can just imagine. I, I mentioned before how unobvious it was that this should be the stance. It didn't see, make sense to me that a skinny stance would provide more stability. But fiddlers, go ahead and stand up and give this a try. Okay, fiddlers, stand up. Put your, put your feet about, about shoulder width apart and see how much you can sway. See how much you can sway with your feet apart. Now, put your feet together. Now see how much you can sway. <laughs> you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't sway very much. This forces you to be together. What's going on here, they say a wider base provides more stability. Well, that's stability against falling over, not against wavering. 
If you want to get wavering, now I, I'm more apt to fall over here, but I'm not apt to waver as much. So we're going to use a closed stance. And posture. I'm in the middle of page four. Here's, here's what I recommend. I'm going to turn sideways, and I'm going to let, just let this, the gut suck out a little bit. This is not a good posture. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I like to do, I like to feel one piece. And so what I, what I like to do is I suck in the gut just a little bit. And what the sucking in the gut just a little bit does is it straightens up the back. Yeah, it's macho too. helps pick up the chicks. But that's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it to, to get better balance. It's, I, now I feel one piece. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the gut go again. This is just too uncomfortable to play. I feel, I feel a little... Warp in the back here. I want to feel one piece. Suck the gun in just a little bit. Now here's what the, even though it's a little bit of pressure to suck in the gut, and it, it does take a little bit of pressure, in exchange, you get a straight spine, and everything else is much more relaxed. So suck in the gut just a little bit, straighten up your posture. We're going for a straight and narrow head. None of this. Look at going for a straight and narrow head. God made our brains to perform calculations on level platforms. So the brain has the fewest calculations when it's level. If you tilt your head, now your brain has to take all that information and correct it to, to, to straight up. Same thing when you bounce. The steadier you are, the fewer calculations your brain has to make, and the more straight up you are, the, the, the fewer calculations your brain has to make. So what we're looking for, we are looking for straight up, and straight up, suck in the gut a little bit, keep the head straight. That's the posture for which we are looking. I've gone to the bottom of page four. We're going to do now, we're going to do um, the balance exercise, and we're going to have three phases. Fiddlers, you ever try to talk without using your arms? Because <laughs> you're just about, you're going to get a chance to do that now. I took an acting class 40 years ago. Fiddlers take the easy stuff. Easy it is. <laughs> and the acting instructor made a very interesting comment. He said, when arms hang by your side, it feels weird, but it doesn't look weird. Now try to talk without using your arms. We're going to do this exercise right now. And you, it actually takes a lot of practice to, to let your arms just hang down. But it doesn't look that weird, but it just feels weird. But we're going to be, tra practice being zero. So here's what we're going to do. On phase one, I'm going to have you fiddlers stay as calm and as balanced as you can. I'm going to come up and ask you your name. I'm going to say, hi fiddler, I'm Rock, what's your name? You will respond, hi Rock, my name is Johnny. And when you respond, I don't want to see any elbows twitching. I don't want to see, I don't want to see any movement around. I want to see total calm. So we'll see how, we'll see how well you do. Um, entire body should be calm, calm and motionless, and your arms should not move. We're going to do um, two, two other phases. We're going to do that same thing, but then I'm going to have you swing your arm and do the same thing, because we're going to practice with the arm moving. Can you, can you stay balanced with the arm moving? And then we'll even try it a third time with the arm rock, rocking like this. This, is, this would be closer, closer to a fiddler. So we'll see if you can stay balanced with your, with your arm doing like this. And I'll do the same thing. I'll just ask your name. So we'll practice doing nothing. And we'll see if we can be good for nothing. I'm Rock Reynolds. <laughs> right with you later. That's for session 10. Bye-bye.